Hey guys, uh, I know some of you have been having some issues with projections as we move into assignment number seven, but uh, I just wanted to do a quick screencast on how to deal with some of the standard issues you run into when you've got two data sets and different projections. So uh, just as an example, I'll throw two uh, raster data sets into a map and see what happens. Uh, first one will be a, um, this is a digital ortho mosaic. Uh, or actually a digital raster graphic of a bunch of topo maps for an area in central Vermont. Um, so you can see what that looks like. It's you know a pretty standard USGS topo quad just in digital format. And then the next thing I want to add, um, right after I go back to the full extent, is a ortho photo uh, at a fairly high resolution of one site within this. So that's added in, but I don't see where where it was added onto the graphic here. Uh, I'll zoom to the layer extent, and there's the ortho, but you can see that there's nothing around it. It's not laid on top of this uh, topo quad. So uh, we'll just go to the full extent to see what the entire map looks like, and you can see up there is the um, the topo quad, but the ortho is probably a tiny little speck somewhere you can't quite see. Uh, the reason for this is that these are in two different projections, and we'll just check to see what those projections are. Go to each layer's properties, and go to uh, general, and then you can see here this is in the North American Datum 1983, uh, which is a pretty standard projection for uh, site and regionally specific uh, area measurement. It makes things very accurate for the zone that that it covers. In this case, uh, UTM zone 18N. Um, and, yeah, just... So that's the projection for the topo. Uh, we'll go check the ortho now. And you can see that this is in uh, the World Geographic System 1984, which is a the very standard global latitude and longitude uh, coordinate system. Um, these two don't line up together because they are using different units as their their base measure. The WGS84 uses uh, decimal degrees as its unit of measure, uh, and the NAT83 uses meters uh, as its unit of measure. So when you put the two of them together in the same map, they don't show up in the same place. There are two solutions to this problem. Uh, the first is very easy, and you should definitely try it first. Um, that is to change the settings. Go to Settings and Options. And then under the CRS, the Coordinate Reference System tab, click Enable On-The-Fly Reprojection by Default. What's sort of annoying about this is that you then have to restart the entire thing. Um, in this case, I'm just going to start a new map because I don't have something saved. If you already have your map composition together, you can just reload it, and it'll have the same effect. So now I'm going to add these things that I previously added. So there's my topo. I'm going to add the ortho. And it just appeared as a little postage stamp spec there. I'm going to zoom in, take a look at it. And it's tough to tell because we're looking at two different types of data here, but you can see that this is lined up correctly. In particular, you can just follow the roads. You can see the road leads off of the topo and into the ortho and back out over here. Um, so what we've done here is just set the, the two layers to render in the same place in a single geographic space, which you can see in this case it's just using the WGS 1984 coordinate system for both, uh, and it's just reprojecting the one that is not in that format on the fly. The harder way of dealing with this involves actually reprojecting your one of your raster files into an entirely new raster. Um, that tends not to be necessary except in some pretty extreme cases when you have a humongous raster file and uh, the, the program is not able to um, allocate enough memory to reproject that on the fly. Uh, this tends to be something for, you know, if you had a state's worth of ortho photos, um, particularly large raster files in the, in the order of several gigabytes, you'll probably want to reproject those all together. And the way you would do that is you go to the raster tab, go to projections, and hit warp. And then the menu you get here just gives you your input file, 
Uh, you choose a location for the output file. It'll automatically detect what your input coordinate reference system is. This is the EPSG code for WGS84. Uh, and then if we want to match it to the other coordinate reference system, then we would just uh, figure out what the EPSG code is for the other data set we want to match it to, and then set that as the target SRS. Um, we can search for that here to make sure QGIS has it. Uh, in this case, I know that the topo is in 26918, that's the EPSG code. You can also search for it by name, but EPSG is definitely quicker. Uh, hit find, and you can see it's right there. So then you would just hit OK. This would run, depending on how big your file is, for you know maybe a couple of minutes. And then it would output a new raster file in the projection that matches your other data set. Uh, and that'll, that'll just make things easier for those larger data sets again. So this stuff is kind of squirrely. But um, as always, if you have any questions, drop me a line. And we'll figure out what's going on with your data.